All right, welcome back, Cody's Auto Diagnostics. Playing with this little guy. I just got done flashing uh, Dodge 2015 Dodge Dart. Updated the electronic power steering and also the ECU. Um, the ECU had updates for the shutter valve. The shutter valve is in the front of the vehicle. It's uh, shutter assembly that changes the aerodynamics for um, fuel economy. It was hit and all the fins and stuff were broken on it. So uh, got that replaced and we have a track light and check engine light on after doing the flash. So let's just, uh, let's see what this thing can do. Played around with it on a couple other vehicles. It was it, uh, updated, or not updated. It uh, reset the uh, the oil uh, reminder on a 2015 Mercedes. It also set the a mileage interval, which isn't anything super special. I, I think the snap-ons can do the same thing. I usually grab the Auto Logic. This was super nice to uh, to go out there and plug into. So we'll do the automatic search. I mean, being the size and stuff, it is it does lag, but I wouldn't say it lags any worse than my Auto. I still need to put a video out comparing the three, the Snap-on, the Autel, the Launch. I wanted to play around with this a little bit more, see everything it can do so I can do a little bit better video. Let's do the health report. One thing I notice, you do press it, and it doesn't seem like it does anything. See, it took a couple times hitting it there. So now it's going to do the full system scan. PCM. Jesus Christ, 18 volts. <laughs> There's gonna be crap everywhere, so, uh, from flashing. Communication codes, I'm sure. And this is why you always wanna, even if you don't have a check engine light on and you flashed a vehicle, you wanna go through and do a full system scan and erase all the codes in there. At least that's what I recommend, because you could store some codes in that vehicle and they stay stored in that vehicle and if that vehicle ends up having an let's say a separate issue and take it in and do a full system scan at another shop and they find these codes let's say communication codes it can send the tech in the wrong direction so uh that's not cool Fault report. Let's see. You know, I, I don't want to go through all these. So let's just clear. Clear. Yes, I'm sure. Now this thing had a freaking update um, for the electronic power steering for causing like a shimmy anywhere from 50 to 70 miles an hour. Um, and that shimmy could be uh, misdiagnosed as a wheel out of balance. So it's just crazy that 
shit, you could have thrown uh, you know, all kinds of tires at this thing, balanced them like crazy, and all it needed was a was an update. So wait for it to finish up 100 percent fault report okay okay steering angle sensor implausible message data length received from steering angle sensor so I'm sure these ABS there's gonna be steering angle sensor codes in here we we'll probably have to do the steering angle reset Invalid data received from steering column. Dynamic torque request denied. All right. Special functions. Steering angle calibration. Yes, I want to calibrate. Engine not running. Active DTCs present. Temperature too low. Ah, oh, crap. Let's do brake pedal calibration. Okay, that passed. from steering control module. Okay, so let's go into steering control module. Obviously, I'm still learning on this thing. I don't know where everything's at. So it is gonna take me a little bit. Implausible message data length received from steering angle sensor. Okay, so, but we can't reset the sensor with codes in the system, so. It's gotta be a trick to this. Uh, electronic power steering, maybe that's it. Didn't go all the way down. Steering wheel position sensor miscalibration. Invalid data received from anti-lock brake system. Brake system module event information. Okay, so. I'm sure it won't clear. Will it tell us if there's all right, still something in the can't see that so yes there's still codes in the system electronic brake pedal position sensor learn man you guys can't see anything huh okay this is used to initialize the EPS upon EPS replacement or whenever the front suspension has been aligned all right Steer the wheel lock to three times. Full right, full left, then back to center. Full left. Full right. Back to center. So turn the steering wheel quarter turn, 
pass center, turn the steering wheel, quarter turn pass center to the right. Turn the steering wheel back left quarter. Okay. Okay, now it's saying cycle the ignition. Nope, oh, leave off for five seconds. This has turned into a lot longer video than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, no DTCs there. Let's just do a full system. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Okay, now let's see if we can clear these. DTCs, special functions, steering angle sensor calibration, all right, passed, let's go back to the full system here, PCM, what's in the PCM? Calibrate, calibrate, calibrate. Good old Chrysler. Or should I say Fiat? Okay, steering angle sensor, which we already calibrated. So it's clear fault code. Told us right there if there's oops if there's still a fault in the system but let's just go ahead and try it again no DTCs let's exit out so no more faults in any of the other systems can I say this was any faster than the snap-on or the autel I don't know. I mean, like I said, I'm still playing around with it. So that's not really fair to uh, for the launch. The convenience is freaking awesome, though. So a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Sorry, guys. That's it.